Hey, what's going on? This is Andre from AndySanders.net. Adversity introduces a man to himself. This is something I picked up on listening to uh, uh, Eric Worre uh, interviewing Les Brown here a few days ago. And it's interesting when you think about that, really, you know, for men and women, by the way, uh, it's true. Uh, as far as adversity either helps you grow or it shows where you need to grow. Point blank, really nothing in between. In between that, like they say, times are just this hard or whatever, and you just explode. <laughs> you just let the emotions go crazy. That's telling you something. That it's time. It's, uh, it's time to maybe learn something new. On top of obviously uh, being bigger than a problem or be, being bigger than the issue, you see. But obviously coming up with solutions. And again, like I just mentioned earlier, coming up with um, uh, 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 new ways to learn things. Point blank. Uh, that's really what it comes down to point blank and this letting the emotions go crazy it exploded on maybe people that are close to you when they might be trying to help you out with something uh it, again it shows you as far as okay where you are as far as maybe your character as far as again like it's really just the personal growth or where you might be needing more so or maybe where you might be strong in some people do better in adversity some people don't uh you see so this is it's really a good point that uh, Les Brown mentioned uh, during the interview as well, because, uh, again, like I said, it's just, it's just a key point. Uh, personally, I always love it uh, being in sports because you're always going to have some type of adversity during sports. But it's interesting, too, that whether it be uh, the youth level, the high school level, collegiate level, maybe even professional level, and sometimes when it's all said and done with some of those athletes, how that helps them transition into the everyday world. As far as there, there, are, there is some adversity, and they're able to overcome that. Why? Because of what we went through on the playing field, or in the court, or whatever. You see, as far as just learning to just deal with that adversity, you know. So it's really, really interesting. It's just all about really uh, just choosing just to be bigger, like I said earlier, bigger than those problems. Uh, choosing to find solutions, you see, and um, really just not letting emotions control us. Because uh, when we let the control the emotions control us, then we're doing things that we're going to regret later on. You see, but uh, uh, obviously, like like I said earlier, when we uh, learn to just be bigger than that, choose to be, uh, you know, open to learn new things, uh, then the adversity is not really going to be that big of a problem. It's really more so like a um, gaining new experience along the way. You know, because you you have new learning experiences as well. Would it be either mistakes or failures? Napoleon Hill mentioned it several times in his books. Uh, they're really seen as just temporary setbacks, but if you choose to learn from them, now we're just uh, better than we previously were, you know, which is kind of obvious. So something that's going to leave you with, and if you got getting value for what we shared here, I'd love to read your comments below. I'd like to see this video. That being said, I will see you in the next video.